the pineapple under the sea. SpongeBob SquarePants! Absorbing in yellow and porous is he. SpongeBob SquarePants! If not every nonsense be something you wish. I got it. Oh, I need my headphones. I don't got it. Thought I had it. Didn't have it. Burp. Hang on one sec, one more sec. I'm sitting, I'm sitting, I'm scooting. I got the microphone. Um, how about now? Like, like this. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Okay, that's good. I am glad about that. I'm gonna take a swig, swig of my drink. That's a good swig. The microphone could probably be a little closer. Okay. I think we're good now. Now, last time on Spongeball Z, we got through the kelp gardens. I, uh, cleaned up a lot of the socks I was missing. And now we want to go to Flying Dutchman's Graveyard, which only has a total of three socks in it, if you can believe that. Sorry about the microphone scooting. One more time. One more. Okay, I think that's good. Probably. Let me know. Probably. Anyway, yeah, Flying Dutchman's Graveyard. Hello, illogical Jason. I'd ask where you got that name, but you're not the type of guy that strikes me as having a logical reason. The graveyard of ships. Somewhere among this haunted mess, a fearsome specter waits. Call me juvenile, but I did not think he said ship for a second there. Very interesting, this level. Beware. Spongebob, sir. I don't need any cookies. But I'm not a shell scout. Look, kid, I'm too disturbed to scare the bejesus out of you right now. Come back later. What's the matter? It's these darn robots. 
They've thrown me off my own ship, they have. Being thrown off your own ship is like having your pants pulled down in front of casual acquaintances. It's a sad, sad thing. Now those robots have got their own pirate ship, and they're blasting away at each other. Is there anything I can do to make you feel better? Well, now that you mention it, get up to my ship and use the cannons to single-handedly defeat the robot ship. Any questions? Is that adorable hat available in a size 3? No, but if you do this, a golden spatula be your booty. Now get going. Okay, so apparently now it's too quiet. Hang on. Sorry, that's Nightbot for you, but yeah, probably don't do that. Anyway, how's this? How's this volume before I continue? All right, cool. Now into the graveyard. Oh, dude, that's that guy. Yeah, I had forgotten about this guy. Yeah, that's a recurring theme with this game, is robot being encountered in weird orders. Especially because SpongeBob's dream, despite supposedly being the last level, has actual, actually no uh, gate on entry. No uh, golden... Bleh. No golden spatula requirement. There's something down there. Hmm. Gotta lower it. Gotta lower it somehow. Oh, there's one of the socks. Oh yeah, you go this way. Probably should have taken this guy out from a distance now that I have the move. Trademark the move. This one to be exact. Oh, and I, uh... Let's just say I got all of the Patrick... Well, ev all... I got all of the Mr. Krabs spatulas. So, uh, I'm going to have to come back here, I guess. Good thing it's right by the start of the level. We got to do puzzles of some kind. Ah, oh, I see, I see. Huh. Boop, 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 boop. And I especially love how the game pulls like a Mario sunshine and you can see the chum bucket in the distance.
So yeah, there's a suck. Want that suck? Fresh like a spring breeze. Yeah, there we go. And that's why this is a good move. Uh, basically, last stream was just a bit of cleanup, and we did the kelp chorus. Hmm. A lot of uh, things that seem to require the lowering of goo. might be what you do. Also, they expect you to get up there, apparently. Oh, I, I think I see. I think I see now. Yeah, uh, yes, Kelp Forest was indeed did. Oh, I need to push that one back over there. I thought that was it, but I was mistaken. Oh, uh, don't sweat it, man. It's fine. Like, I, I don't know how you get up here. Oh. Well, <laughs> yeah, I guess that would do it, huh? I don't know how you get over to that. Can you jump to it? I doubt it. No. I'm going to take another swig. This is Flying Dutchman's Graveyard, as I have shown on screen just now. Oh, but it reset the platforms. No! Except it's not actually that big a deal. But yeah, it seems like there's a few spatulas in this area where it's kind of like you gotta do something else before you can get them. Oh, again, should have dealt with that guy ahead of time. Ooh, got out of that just in time. But yeah, uh... I, I spent a while grinding shiny objects. So I could get the Mr. Crab spatulas. Didn't exactly, uh, take into account... ...this... ...needing them for this. How many did I need? About 2,000? Oh. I mean, I guess I could always come back towards the end of the level for it. Taken care of. More push puzzle. 
you can call it that. I think this is one of those ones where we wanna we wanna block it halfway. Ah uh, yeah, so we do this, push this one over here. And then we wanna push this one here. Oh, but it, it won't let us do that. Dang, I thought that was it. Dang. I thought for sure that was gonna be it. <laughs> Don't worry guys, I think I can do it. I think I can make it happen. Wait, hang on. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> but now you're supposed to get this one. You're supposed to get one over there. Silly puzzle. This is a silly beans puzzle. I mean, it's probable that you're supposed to use this one. No, wait, no. No, actually, I was mistaken. I was confused. Yeah, there's none with the uh, bounce on that side. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Problem is the... Aha, there we go. That's the actual solution. The Grinch, that's a weird, that's a weird game. Oh, well, this is a slide, apparently. I've seen a little bit, uh... I've seen a little bit of that game. It's, you know, it's it doesn't look terrible. Though maybe not as good as SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom, a masterpiece of our generation. Oh man, my nose is itchy. Oh, did I already take those out? I'm gonna go back and check to see how many... How many uh, shiny objects I actually need. Or, no, 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 I take it back. I, I'm gonna defeat these robots and I'm gonna go on and I'll come back once uh, I'm mostly done with the level. Okay. 
I ate a McGriddle today and uh, the graveyard of ships. I ate a McGriddle today and I washed my hands like three times, but I still faintly smell McGriddle on my hand. Ahoy there, Mr. Squidward. Swab the poop deck. Yes, hilarious. Don't you have a platinum whisk to get? That's golden spatula. Whatever. There's one up there. Oh, I saw another clam, so yeah, we're gonna need all the shiny objects we can get here. Say hello to my little bubble friend. Yeah, this this makes sense. <laughs> Future, future platform. I think Patrick is the other character for this level. There's only two per level, which is kind of funny. Uh, McGriddle's kind of a breakfast sandwich. It's it, just, just basically imagine a hamburger, but instead of the burger, it's egg. And instead of a bun, it is like a pancake kind of thing. Oh no, it's Sandy. I was completely mistaken. <laughs> I like how you kinda, you can go back around there, you can do it like this. Uh, I think there might be some breakfast wraps. You know, I guess in a way it's kind of fitting that we're talking about fast food while I'm playing Spongebob. Batten down the hatches, Mr. Squidward. Yeah, I still got that problem where I have to, like, look down to check the chat. You know, sometimes I, I kind of catch myself, you know, talking sometimes, and I kind of realize how much, like, southern dialect actually seeps into my voice. I realize how much sometimes I just sound like, well... We're going over here to this golden spatula. Oh no! Oh no! I was not fast enough. I fell down. I actually wall jumped off of that one before I hit the wall proper. Yeah, I keep I kept telling Miles I was gonna use that somewhere, but I never actually ended up doing it. No, 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 no. And I'm surprised it took them this long to have a setup like this, where you gotta, you know, I wonder, can you just like, can you just like do this? Seems like in theory, but I'm not gonna try it because it, it's it's arguably harder than just doing the actual setup. But yes, it took them all game, but they finally have you doing this. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to grind up some shiny objects for sure. Knockus Knuckles. Hey, Greeny, Green, Green, Green Man, Green. Gang, Green, Gang. The green Lantern. 
know how you're supposed to defeat this guy, but I don't know that I care. Oh, thanks for coming back into my range. Oh, I am... Like, oh, I'm just shy of what that clam wants. So yeah, I'm just gonna have to remember to come back to these. Herp, herp. See, this part's actually really cool. It's it's kind of weird, but it's also really cool. Oh, well, good to hear. It's personally one of my favorite indie games. And I am pretty interested to see what the sequel has to offer. Yeah, they have a lot of fun with the wall jump in this stage. I think I'm getting a little too eager. I'm hitting the jump. Ah, the jump too soon. There we go. That's particularly effective. Oh, hey, there's my there's my platinum whisk there, right there. Go to the Dutchman ship. Dutchman's treasure. Oh, okay, that just summons the boat back. Ahoy there, SpongeBob! Swab the poop deck! Aye, 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 aye. Oh, I already did that joke with Squidward, Mr. Krabs. Yes, well, it's a good one though, eh? Oh, sure is. Here's what you need to do. Destroy all the power generators on the robot ship. Once the power is off, you'll be able to shoot the Dutchman's cannons to destroy the robot ship. Cannon do, Mr. Krabs. Ugh, 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 ugh. So now, we must disarm the robot ship. And also collect as many shiny objects as we possibly can. Because Lord knows I'm gonna need them. Is there any reason to be back here? It seems like a perfect hiding place for a sock, but apparently nay. Down the hatches, Mr. Squidward. Now, we're not playing Johnny Test Battle for Bikini Bottom. Let's be reasonable here. Sandy.
probably grind some good uh, shiny objects over here. It's possible that it, that it didn't actually want me to become Sandy yet. Yeah, I probably need to turn that thing to Spongebob first. Yep, now I have enough for one clam. But one clam is not enough. Problem is, I need to get Texas up here. Can I hit that? With this move? Nah, it doesn't seem to count. I guess I got to get Sandy over there and then uh, like swing across from the other ship. That would make sense to some to some degree. Yeah, at this rate, I'm gonna have to probably grind a little bit to get to, into the movie theater. But you know, that's all right. I think the power generators uh, deactivate the cannons. Poop. Poop and or butt. Does that respawn the power generator? No, it doesn't. Well, that's, that's good. No, in this game, I thought it was gonna... Uh, this is where one of the cannons is. Oh lord. This enemy, the worst enemy. Oh, there's a sock up there. I should probably go get that. And there we go. So I got one out of three. Not many socks in this level, which is kind of a blessing. In a way. And I already know where one of the other ones is, so it's only leaving uh, one unaccounted for. So yeah, I think this time we might be able to do two levels. Might might make the final boss its own stream though, just for the sake of like being able to show off the movie theater what's in there. Because I don't think I'm gonna grind forty thousand shiny objects on stream. I'm sure you can understand where I'm coming from with that. Okay, so now we have to go over and arm the Flying Dutchman ship again. So that we can take down the robot ship. Gosh darn it. Oh, 
I think I gotta become Sandy again. Okay, let's try that one more time. First, let's take care of that guy. I don't like him lingering around. Plus, you know, he helped grind up some shiny objects, of course. Oh, and it turns out Sandy could have done this the whole time. Okay, now, just gotta get back. To press the button. Oh, we're missing a, a lot of spatulas, but I guess that makes sense. Don't worry, we'll clean them up. I tell you, nothing beats creamy, hand-churned butter. Sweet, just a cotton-picking minute, butter boy. We did all that stuff, and you're backing out like a sea weasel. Sea weasel? Ah, oh, them fighting words. If you want this gold thingy so bad, come and get it. You're on. Okay. And one of the rare, one of the few, uh, non, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Uh, we're fighting the Dutchman. Oh, he's got lasers. Am I supposed to hit him? I don't know when I'm supposed to hit him. That seems to be when he's when he's hittable. Oh, I see. I see now. I got it now. Massive frame drop, huh? Well, that's no good. I mean, I've heard they've been getting better again.
If my friend SpongeBob doesn't get his free lunch, things are gonna get crazy. Once you figure out how to deal with him, this boss isn't exactly amazing. I don't know, I might have to do Spongebob's dream and then come back, because I don't think I have enough, uh... I don't think I have enough... There's, it says there's one here. I wonder if it's just talking about the one... Like the one uh, Mr. Krabs has. Or what? I don't know. Either way, we gotta do a bit of cleanup. Oh no, he just, that's just all he has to say regardless. Does anybody know where a loft is on a boat? I'm not a boatician, so I could not tell you. Hey, Mocha fellow. Oh, I looked away. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, you gotta gotta look for wherever the heck this golden spatula is. Oh, it's up there. Now, how do I get up there? Hmm. 
Oh, hey, Wrecking. Don't see you around too much. How do I... How do I even get up there? I mean, is there... Maybe I gotta do a cruise bubble. Yeah, there's a good turnout this time. Yeah, uh, I probably gotta be on the other one, though. I'm gonna just switch to Sandy. God, it's like <laughs> streaming stuff on this capture card is such a like a balancing act. I'm just like, <laughs> oh, like play the game, swipe, swipe the touch screen, play the game. <laughs> oh lord. It's a silly. It's a. Si I mean, I guess worst case scenario, if they uh, if they remade this game and it was bad, we'd we'd still have the original. You know, no one can take away the original. I know that's possibly a hollow statement, but it's true. Uh, the enemies in this game are incredible sometimes. Well, like I said, I need to grind up some shining objects, so I guess it's not too bad. But yeah, late in the game, these enemies get kind of rude and crude. Alright, let's see. Is there anything up here I can, uh... No, it's just the spatula. Oh, I think I know. Can you, like, step on those ropes, I wonder? Could be it. Though, uh, this makes me suspicious. Needly, needless to say, I, I don't remember, I don't remember this mission too well. Probably stands to reason. Let's check this out. Let's check it out. Yeah, if you could get up there, it seems like maybe. Probably still gonna have to be sandy. Yeah, I just, I had forgotten all about this one. Sandy's kind of OP a little bit. Yeah, you're probably right about that. Oh, oh, I see it. I see what must be done. I went here before, but there was nothing here. Well, I don't know, mystery solved. Should probably do this one first. Like I said, may have to go to SpongeBob's Dream and get some more shiny objects over there, but I'm pretty sure that has its own plan to deal with. Oh, my leg. Ah. <laughs> Gotta adjust the leg. Would not be a dust in stream if it wasn't for the legs. What? I didn't hit the button. Oh, 
realize that you can stand on this. Uh, well, some limited degree. Okay, there was something with this. I forget. I forget what do here. Like, do you gotta lower the goo somewhere else? If so, I don't remember where where do. Let's see, let's uh let's have a quality investigate. Still need to get that sock too. Definitely something I'm missing about this area. Something I have forgotten about. Close the place where it spawns from. Alright. I'm guessing that would be up there. Uh, this guy. It. Gotta do this again. Okay, that one doesn't move at all, ever. Oh, right, you probably just have to come back here, Sandy. To get the sock. Oh, just hit it with the cruise bubble, alright. That's right. Well, I'm pretty sure there was something over here while I'm over here. Oh yeah, there's a golden spat spatula. Now just this and the bungee. Might get that sock with Sandy. Alright, so this actually works now. Now it's a race against time. Yeah, probably gonna have to come back for the bungee. Because I, I, you know, I spent all the shiny objects on Mr. Krabs the other night off screen. You gotta love how this game just lets you climb all over everything. Destroy these guys for a little bit extra, and now say. Let's just uh, go over here, find somewhere to switch to Sandy. I'm almost there. Yep, getting there. Getting there. Maybe maybe before we lose the level.
see if there's a place back here to switch to Sandy. I mean, there's some decent fast travel in this game, so it, you know, if we end up going the wrong way, it's not too hard to get back on track. Yeah, it has, as I've said a few times during the stream, it has that licensed game, climb on everything collision. Alright, so now that I'm Sandy, I just gotta find my way out of here, because I'm pretty sure the quick warp will actually switch my character. Which we do not want, of course. That, that's not like the exit right there, is it? Could be, but I don't think I can get to it from that end. And yeah, about got enough for the bungee, so we should be able to do that before I leave. To the next level. Is that a sock in there? Oh yeah. Oh, but I can't get to it from that angle, it looks like. Oh man, I don't think I can get back this way. I think I gotta, like... Oh wait, is that salt? Oh no, there's just a... a fella down there. But this is good. Alright, so where was that ship that Sandy can, uh... Oh. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> well, that helps me out a lot. And we know where... We know where the other one is. And I think the exit's right down here. Howdy, Squidward. So much for peace and quiet. Okay. That's good. Means I don't gotta come back for socks in this level. So I'll grab the sock and then I'll do the bungee and we can move on to Spongebob's dream. Ah, oh, and when you're Sandy, they even have the, the swingy things here for you. Alright. Oh, I don't, oh, I don't, no, I thought it was less than that. All right, what do you guys think? Should I move on to SpongeBob's Dream right now, or try to grind up the last few and uh, get that before we leave? I mean, while I wait on a response, I'm going to be grinding a little bit anyway. You know what, there's a really easy way to do this. Thank God for the fast travel. You've just met the Spongeinator. And I'll probably just grind up a few so, you know, I don't have to keep doing that, keep wasting your time in uh, SpongeBob's dream. All right, quick grind, quick grind. Shouldn't take me too long. Just 
gonna try to maybe get up to just 2,000 real quick. Oh, I canceled out too early. But yeah, there's a funny quirk of the programming. You're far enough away, the tiki's no longer do anything. Which is easy to observe with the cruise bubble. But you actually kind of do want to let that animation play out. And one more time. Alright. Sorry for that slight delay. Oh, well, may as well get these while I'm here. And they're sitting literally right in front of me. So we should be good for Spongebob's dream. Alright, alright, alright. Surrounded by dream bubbles. I wonder what that means. Gary, what are you doing here? Wow. Oh, so I'm dreaming. Well, then, first thing I'm gonna do is dream myself up a mustache. Wow. Thanks, Gary. It does make me look more rugged, doesn't it? Wow. More tasks? Well, I could use more golden spatulas, but where should I start? Wow. Wow. You mean each dream bubble has a golden spatula in it? Meow. I'm ready! Meow. Yes, Gary, I'll be careful. Alright, so last proper level of the game. SpongeBob's dream. Five socks. Has a sort of remix of of the encounter theme, I guess you'd call it. But yeah, as, as is kind of proper of a final level, it's very treacherous. And there's a golden spatula right there. And the challenge is basically you gotta follow this ball to it. Yeah, this is a very sunshine level, isn't it? The SpongeBob movie game is even more sunshine in that regard. Yes, it's like a super extended version of the encounter theme.
Oh yeah, and you really need the uh, the shiny objects in this level because every single dream has like a pay door. Oh, but there's a golden spatula just right on top of Squidward's house, so. Just uh, for some shiny objects. Alright, so Sandy's dream. Gee, I wonder if this looks like any place in particular. Your dream is massive. Everything in Texas is big, even dreams. Then you're just the right person to reach the spatula on top of that golden acorn. My dream, my rules. I'll get that spatula faster than a Texas jackrabbit crossing the four-lane highway. All right. So Sandy's dream, play as Sandy. Makes sense. Uh, I want to get the explosive one. Good and but you got to be SpongeBob if you want to get back out of here. Anyway, slide. And a pretty big one too. There's probably going to be a lot of socks in this. I'm going to miss the first time around. And again, there's only like five in the whole level, so I don't know. Insert back to the future joke here. Let me take a detour here. What I need, a creature with a backbone. Oh, but we don't have enough to go in here right now. So we gotta come, gotta come back. Gotta come back. Yeah, I really need some more shiny objects. I really do. This looks like a bonus path. If ever I'd done seen one. This is a silly, this is a silly, silly level. I'm just, I'm just gonna hit, hit these, take the damage for the shiny object. I shouldn't have done it. But now, but now I'm down here. Don't, don't think they wanted me to be down here. Just a hunch. But I can probably make this work. Let's check the other path while we're here. a lot to this.
I don't know, can anyone confirm or deny the presence of a sock on this slide? Maybe I'll just come back if I'm missing socks. Oh no. Cows throwing cow pies. Oh, there's a sock. Well, I mean, technically, there was a sock here, so... Yeah, most of Texas is, uh, in the air in real America, too. for way longer than it probably should. Ah, uh, the space manure. Insert another Back to the Future joke here. Slide is long. A long slide. Eat your heart out, Mario 64. I don't have a uh, I don't have enough shiny objects yet to remember the Alamo. Wow, if anyone was going to make it down this sky slide, it was going to be you. Well, I guess we'll come back. Let's just let's play the level. Let's just play the level. Get some shiny objects over here and play the level. You know, figures now I basically have enough. Just about. But anyway, let's move on. Better do some strategic bouncing here. Again. Almost definitely certain that's not how they want you to get it. Alright, so let's go to Squidward's Dream. For heaven's sake, boy! Cover your ears! Mr. Krabs? What are you doing in Squidward's Dream? Hard time, boy. Or at least it feels like it. Do you think you can make it across this sheet of music to the golden spatula on Squidward's big nose? Don't worry, Mr. Krabs. I'll end this challenge on a high note. Uh, good luck, boy. When you get there, try to wake him up. I'm running out of aspirin. Oh. 
Lord, this game. This is a silly game. Yeah, this is oh. this is the most sunshine level in the whole game. There's a sock up there. Unsure how to get. So I guess I'll just have to keep in mind it's by the checkpoint. Oh, this might have something to do with it. Oh, no, wait, I think I get it. I think I gotta get to the end and then bounce off. Which kinda sucks, but it makes sense. Was there one over there? No, I think that was just a shiny object. Yeah, so since we want that sock... Oop. Oop. Yeah, there we go. Gotta do this again, but that's fine. The sock stays got. The sock remains Socked forever. They can take our dignity, but they cannot take our sock. Lord, I tell you, this was pure platforming right here. Never before have I seen such platforming not even in a Super Mario World hack comprised entirely of cement blocks See, the thing is, we had already collected all of the socks. We are somehow bringing fictional socks into existence. So we are giving Patrick more socks than he started out with. Got it. Mm, your eyelid, Mr. Squidward.
I gotta remember to remember the Alamo. Is it, it? Whoa. What's back here? Some, well, some shiny objects, that much is certain. Oh, my death, that much is certain. But I can keep grinding this robot. And Lord, I'm gonna need it. Mr. Krabs dream. Whitworth, this is amazing. Amazingly awful, you mean. Mr. Krabs is dreaming of the Krusty Krab. What a surprise. I can't escape work anywhere. Whoa! Lunch rush! I'd better grab my hat and forget the hat. Get that spatula and get us out of here! It's like a shiny golden toothpick that holds together the bun of We don't have time for this! So Mr. Krabs is kind of an enemy rush. You can just take that one out. You can just take that one out from here. You can just kind of take out a good few of the enemy spawners right off of the right off the bat, and then you'll blow up. I'll tell you what, though, Mr. Krabs Dream is going to be very good for grinding shiny objects. And I'm probably gonna die after all that progress I made. Oh, there's uh, underwear at the top of that one. Oh. Yeah, you can. Uh, er, er, nope, gotta get a tomato out there. Again, very pe peculiar sentence outside of this game. Yeah, I'm dead. Does it, does it actually damage you? Yes, it does. <laughs> For a second there, that one didn't damage me, I didn't think. Oh well, I'll just leave it so I can, uh, so I can get, you know, stuff, get shiny stuff. Because yeah, this is those robots are really good for shiny objects, like really good. Okay, so now I can get up to that one. You know, could I just shoot the other one from the button here? Probably. I don't know if they realize the sheer raw power of the cruise bubble. I don't know if it occurred to them. Just what kind of power they were giving me.
And there we go. And yeah, we have cleaned up some nice profit on this, as, as I guess is fitting for Mr. Krabs' dream. Pardon again. How much? How much you want to bet me I can get over there without paying? Oh, I'm close. I am close. I want to give it a try. Oh, I think... Oh, it's so close. Come on, it's like Mr. Krabs. You gotta be in the spirit of Mr. Krabs and be a cheapskate. I'm gonna try it maybe once or twice more. I think I think I can make this happen. Do I get on top of the crusty crab sign? Yes, but that probably won't help me. Okay, we're gonna make this happen. Hmm, I could also try getting over to that platform, maybe. Nah, there's no way. There's no way. No, I, I guess not. Oh well. Ouch. Ouch. I was assuming that this would be easier than what I was trying to do. Screw it, damage boost. A Patrick's dream. Patrick, you have a golden spatula. Give it here. Not so fast, SpongeBob. You'll have to pass my test before you get this golden spatula. Very well, sir. Challenge accepted. Very well. Your challenge is to find the golden spatula. You're holding it. You did it! Now here is your reward. Fun fact, uh, Patrick's dream was originally going to be more extensive. Uh, there's an unused map in the game for like 
Patrick's dream. Like, full of ice cream and stuff. So yeah, originally, that was gonna be his dream, and you were gonna play as him in it, which would make this, like, the only level where you actually played as all three characters. But yeah, we're gonna have to go back and remember the Alamo. Okay, I don't have the warp for it, so we're gonna have to slide some more. Doggy, take players. And I'm missing, uh, I'm missing a few sucks. Not entirely sure where they could be. I may have to consult a guide. Who puts challenges in their own dreams? Squirrels? We're tough like that. Oh, you'll need to be real tough to make this series of swings. I could do it in my sleep. You are asleep. As I said, in my sleep. Well, there's a golden spatula out there for you if you make it far enough. I'll do it so fast, it'll make your head spin faster than a horny toad on a merry-go-round. Why can't I ever just dream normal dreams of world domination? Oop. Oh my god. Momentum. Momentum and a half. I think there's another spawner hanging around somewhere. But maybe I'm just crazy. Now socks, like I said, I have no idea. Oh, there's a sock back there. How many mice? I'm missing two. All right, so I'm gonna ask you guys a genuine question here. Do you think I should uh, just consult the guide and get those on stream, or would you prefer that I cut it, like collect with the socks off, off, off stream, and then just like got the rest of the stuff, got the. Oh, this beautiful mayhem wasted on some brainless tin cans. Yeah, just like uh, grind up what I need to get in the movie theater and get the rest of the socks, or would you prefer 
that that was done on stream would you prefer to see that because i don't know i could i could go either way so you just let me know I think I did the swing one over there. Could be a sock up here. Never know where there could be a sock. Oh, there was a sock up here. Yeah, so I'm missing one. One sock. And I'm willing to bet you it is on this slide somewhere. takes a long time. Maybe it's on top of the giant bull head. Oh no wait, that's where you go and it's full of manure. Climbing on it is indeed possible to some, to some extent. Were you ever meant to do this? Unlikely, but it is possible. Oh, oh, oh. Never can tell where they're gonna let you jump. But it's solid and everything. Only we could get a sock scope, a sock radar, the last sock in the game. Yeah, I find it astonishingly unlikely that they actually put it up here. We can have ourselves a good look. Here, I'll go ahead and pull up the video. Oh, I, did I fall? I fell off, didn't I? Oh. Well, I'm falling. Let's see. Let me see here. I got it. I got it in my library. So we can, uh... Oh, no. Wrong video. No. Oh, God. So we can see just post haste where the sock is. Gotta wait for an ad. Fun time ad time. Hang on. 
I am watching a video tutorial. Okay, so yeah, I got the one in Squidward's dream. Alright, I think I missed it in Mr. Krabs. Yeah, I did. Alright, so... Gotta go back to Mr. Krabs' dream. Oh, I, I closed off the chat, dang it. Give me a sec. Get back to the chat. Here, I'll uh, go ahead and get us... Get us over there. Luckily, don't worry, it's not a lengthy thing. It's, it's just right over here. Oop. bit silly, but that should be the last Patrick, uh, bachelor we gotta get. While we do that, let me check to see how we're going. How we're doing. Oh, God. I've been streaming for almost two hours. But not quite. Now they're back home, safe where they belong. All right, so the last two spatulas. Let's just double check here. Uh, yeah, the last two spatulas are during the final boss. However, we still have the movie theater. However, this requires an obscene amount of shiny objects. Since I got a little bit of time, I just, uh, I'm gonna grind for a bit, I guess. And we can just, you know, chat about something. I'll see if I still have time to do, uh, say I, I still have time to do the final boss. <laughs> I like, I love the comparisons of this game to Mario 64 and Odyssey. They're, they're giving me life. Alright, so since we got a bit of time to kill, regardless, oh, I can't, I have to reset. So, uh, Mario 64 and its remake, what is, what are your opinions on 64 DS? Or, you know, if you want to extend it a little bit further, uh, just how do you feel about... Oh, I didn't... Did I not get him? Oh, there we go. I mean, I could extend it a bit, like, how do you... What's your opinions on uh, all of the 3D Marios? Yeah, I definitely agree about that. Mario 64 DS has a lot of good things going for it, but it's just... By virtue of the controls alone, it kind of feels inferior regardless. Which is why when I streamed it, that was the one I streamed. Just 
Metasponginate. I mean, I don't remember the DS having a particularly powerful sound, you know, sound hardware, but, you know, most of the time it sounded all right. But, I mean, the Nintendo 64 definitely felt like it had some more fidelity to it. You've just met the Spongenator. We're almost a quarter of the way there. Yeah, I think the absolute best part of 64 DS was the mini games. I remember playing Sort. Like, what was it called? Sort or Splode? Or is that the name of the fan game? You've just met the Spongenator. Yeah. Sonic Chronicles is like the one. Uh. The one misstep in a series with otherwise astounding music. Oh man, I can't I can't agree with you on uh on that rush opinion. Also, I do think the final boss theme of Chronicles is at least passable. Too bad the final boss itself only lasts like 30 seconds. You've just met the Spongenator. I mean I know you're supersonic, but come on. So here's a here's a hot take. I actually think I like Rush Adventures music better than Rush's. So both are good. Don't get me wrong. I like both, but I think I like Rush Adventures a little bit more. That's that's a hot take because it wasn't actually uh, composed by the Jet Set Radio guy, who I forget the name of. You've just met the Spongenator. Oh lord, this is going to take a while. Oh yeah. Uh yeah, the the track that was in purple coin is actually You've just met a sponge. Is actually a haunted ship from Rush Adventure. I'd say the 3DS version, now I haven't played it, granted, but from the looks of it, it looks like the 3DS version, while still kind of unremarkable, is a much better game. Which is probably why it's the one that specifically that got a sequel. So granted, still, like I said, nothing particularly remarkable. Just met the Spongenator. Oh Lord, this is this is gonna take a while. I mean, as far as like shiny object grinding spots go. This is probably one of the more efficient ones, but even then, I need 40,000. You've just met the... See, in case you were worried that what I did in the off time was, you know, like you missed something, it was mostly this. Oh, okay, so yeah, you don't want to cut it off too early. Yeah, I don't know. I thought Triple Trouble was all right. I thought the music was good. I like Robotnik Winter. You just met the Spongenator. Almost a quarter of the way there. The torch is lit. Let the games begin. Say hello to my little friend. 
I should probably get back around to uh, streaming a couple of the Master System games. Uh, yes, that is actually true. Uh, Sunset Park Act Three was going to be used in Chaos. If you uh, if you go into Chaos Sound Test, you can actually find it. Just met the sponge so yeah, so not only not only is it uh, unused, but it's actually still in there. It's actually still in the game. You just have to use the sound test to get to it. Kind of like hidden palace zone in uh, Sonic the Two. You've just met the Spongeinator. I mean, as far as I'm aware, the, uh, Master System... The Master System was a lot more popular in Europe than it was in America. Like, in America, it was more the NES, as... as you are all... you, you all know. You've just met the Spongeinator. You have just met the Spongeinator. Oh yeah, I think I might have underestimated how long this was gonna take. You've just met the Spongeinator. Somebody, I think, did try to make a homebrew, uh, Master System version. I think it's possible because, uh, apparently the Master System and the Game Gear are very similar. Like, the infrastructure of the two systems. There was even an adapter for the Game Gear that lets you play Master System games, if I recall right. Considering the lower resolution, I have no idea how that works. Also, I think Blast, Sonic Blast, the Master System ported that. Hmm. Uh. I think that was Brazil only. I could be wrong. But it exists. You've just met the Spongeinator. Hmm, about halfway. About halfway. Lord have mercy. Say hello to my little bubble friend. Is the movie theater worth all this? Probably not. But I am this close to a 100% playthrough. Uh. You've just met the Spongeinator. You've just met the Spongeinator. Nope. 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 What's funny is that I think it was cut from the game, but <laughs> like, I think the original dialogue for trying to buy a movie theater ticket was like, one ticket is 40,000 shiny objects and SpongeBob, like he says that in the final, but I think SpongeBob was originally supposed to say, you're, you're kidding, right? <laughs> Go. 
You've just met the Spongeinator. Oh, okay. Uh, it turns out, uh, turns out, uh, the family brought some food. So how about this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go eat and I'll grind the rest off camera. But I'll tell you what, since I feel like we're this close and it would be kind of a waste, what I might do is I might come back later tonight to finish the game. Maybe. Anyway, so I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys later. I might not have saved that. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll 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 do it. I'll I'll do it in the off time.